Alright, welcome back to Call of Pripyat, everybody. This is part 27 now, I believe. Let's just have a, a quick bit of grub. Another bit of bread. Now, Carden? How you doing, man? Are you okay? Yes, this is more like it. Right. Ah, it's you. We had a hell of a time. <laughs> I had a dream where you brought me something from the past. Good drinking, I haven't been think. Good drinking, I haven't been think. What the... It wasn't this here weapon in your dream, was it? Whoa, man. I guess it wasn't a dream after all. This gun is a Gauss rifle, or Item 62 as it used to be called officially. Whew. Back then I used to do contract work for the Jupiter plant. I designed weapons, if memory serves. Based on the principle of projectile acceleration via electromagnetic field. See those reels? I made those. Too bad they shut down the project in 2004. We never did find a compact enough energy source. Okay, well here we go. This rifle has been fired before. What could have changed? Who the hell knows? To be honest, I wouldn't dare stick a screwdriver in that battery. There's also some mechanical damage in the power supply system. The schematics would be real handy right now. The testing workshop I worked at, uh, I worked in handled all the production documentation. Maybe the schematics and support documentation for this Gauss rifle is still there. Funnily enough, I've still got a keycard to the workshop. Interesting. I don't suppose you would give me the keycard? Yes! Okay! So I've got an old magnetic keycard. Um, apparently if I bring him the documents, he'll try to fix the gun. And it won't be a, a waste of space anymore. Excellent! Alright, uh, see you then, I suppose. Where am I going then? Where are we going? Item 62, find documents in the testing workshop. Okay, at least it points me in the right direction. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, right! It's the Iron Forest Anomaly, of course. I was expecting it to uh, point me back to Pripyat, to be honest. Never mind. That's that's cool. The Iron Forest, then, eh? Huh. No, I've never done this bit before. Never, never, never done this bit before. Interesting. Um, What the fuck is going on out there? I suppose I'll, I'll have a look. I'm walking around as a, as what, what might as well be a tank at this point. Uh, about. So tempting, so goddamn tempting, but I'm not going to. It's a waste of ammo, really. Looks like we got a stalker bandit fight. I uh, might get involved. I don't know. Have the stalkers lost? No, 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 they haven't. What? Oh, that was probably something to do with me, honestly. I didn't mean it. I really didn't mean it. Now what? Oh. Where are you? Around there somewhere. I can't see. I, I can just walk away. You can shoot at the, the back of me. You won't be able to damage me. I'm in an exoskeleton, bitch. You know the one thing that is wrong with the exoskeleton, or it is just a slight, slight problem, slight grievance, is the fact that you can't sprint in one. Unless, as I understand, you upgrade it fully. Um, and that means you'd have to get the calibration tools to, to do that, and unfortunately I haven't found any yet. And I could be wrong, actually. I think only one of the technicians can do it. Presumably it's it's either Carden or Nitro. I'm not sure which one it is. Hopefully Nitro, because he's my go-to guy, but it could be Carden. Right then. Not too far away, is it? About halfway. Boy passed by. Any, anything interesting? Claw anomaly. A couple of anomalies, actually. The oak pine anomaly. Um. How... How good is this for the protections? Not very good, actually. So if I accidentally walk into an anomaly, it's probably not going to be brilliant for me. This thing's only really good against bullets. Hmm. 
I guess I could go looking for artifacts. Oh, that's the point. I didn't even I didn't even check with Beard to see what artifacts he he'd like. Silly me. Silly me. I'll, I'll do that when I get back though. I hear a dog. I hear a pseudo dog, or is it just a dog? I don't know, man. Right. Well, let's just let's just go over to this oak pine anomaly, I think. Can't remember if I've been here to collect artifacts before. But it's been a while either way, so there should be some new ones. Let's uh get the gruesome twosome out. Bolt and detector. Ah, there's some dogs over there. And there's something down there. Interesting. Ah. Ah, uh, oh no, there's there's three. Interesting. Um, yeah. This could go very wrong very quickly. Down here. Okay. There's one in, right ahead of me, apparently. Oh, there, there, there you go. There's one. I got one. I'm actually standing on one right now, but I, I can't seem to find it. Uh... One over here. Can I just go over here? Ooh, jump map. Oh, yep. It rolled onto me. Excellent. Oh, there's another one. Nice, 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 nice. So there's this one, one more over here somewhere. I can't see it. Hang on. Where's the other one? If I just jump back over here. I don't get it. Unless it's up there. Is that even possible? Is that even possible? I have to wonder. Let's get out of this place. Can you climb this thing? I guess you could in some way, shape, or form. Up here? Before the dogs get to me? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, you have trouble climbing trees, do you? Can I get up here? Bloody hell, I can. Uh, right, let's get the detector back out, because I don't think the dogs are going to be following me. It's uh, right up here. Well, I'm not getting up there. I don't think I'll be jumping up here, am I? Oh, I can. That's got to be a dead end. Right, uh, there's got to be another way. There has to be another way. Over here. Let's keep going along this branch. Can I just walk up here? Oh, that'd be pretty sexy. It looks like it's working, man. <laughs> Up here. Right. Right ahead of me. <laughs> oh, shit. It fucking is. What is that? What is that? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what I've just collected, because there's a couple I did collect. Right, there's a soul. I've seen one of those before. What is this? A collar book. Health restoration. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. And I got a couple of stone blood. Okay. Interesting. Health, their health restoration one's interesting. If I had another container, I might put that in, honestly. Hmm. I can't remember if I've actually upgraded this. I don't think I have, you know. There's many things I've just realised I should have done earlier, but it, never mind. Never mind. Well, that's cool. I think I've pretty much cleared out this area for the time being, so that's that's really nice. That's excellent, in fact. Uh-huh. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Having problems there, are we? Invisible treadmill? I don't know. Uh, right. Let's just uh, put you out your misery. So I can come down in peace. And let's go around it. I don't want to particularly cross this this again if if I can help it. Would it be safe to go across here? Probably yes, I think so. Okay. Next up is the Iron Forest Anomaly. And it's been a long time since I've been here. Very long time. If I'm not mistaken, I did bring my shotgun with me as well. 
Yeah, all reloaded and excellent. Shame that doesn't work quite yet. I've got some batteries for it as well. Right then, so exactly where do I need to go? The far corner. Now, I only made it to the helicopter last time because that's all that was all I needed to do. I just needed to examine it and then I ran out. And I ran out because... Did you see that? Is that it? No, that's an anomaly. There's a... Here we go, here we go. There it is. There's a poltergeist around here. Right. I'm just, I'm just watching out for things to get thrown at me. It's going to happen. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. The levitation, the hovering. Right. Oh, piss off. You can kill these things. I, I killed one at the circus anomaly. Ow. Son of a bitch. Yeah, alright. If I could run away, I would. Jeez, they're heavier than they look. So this thing's going to waste all my ammo. Oh, okay, I've got it. Didn't even explode into blood this time, but it's dead. Alright. Cool. The minimap says there's four people. No, sorry, five, six people here. Where? Where would they be then? I don't see them, and they don't see me. Could be on the top of the, on the top of the building. No. Um. No. Hmm. Right. I can't remember. Did I ever loot these guys? Probably didn't get the chance. I guess I could take that now. Take another grenade. What am I? I'm nearly hitting the max the max weight limit again. This is getting silly. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that to be honest. And did you have anything fantastic? Not really. Uh maybe take a med kit. I, I can't resist. Right then, so uh straight ahead. Oh, they could be in this little this little building here. And a mission again? Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to have to move pretty pronto. There could be someone in there. I'm not sure. I think that's where I have to go, though. Hold on. What is this? What is this? A stash for me? Nice. Nice. Here we are, though. Oh, and just in time as well. Just in time. And this is where I have to go. Aha! This is the entrance. Testing workshop accessed. Oh, I bet they're down here, then. That's what the minimap was doing. They're down here somewhere. Just really quickly before I descend. Um, what was it? Oh, it's a black kite. Ah, that's nice. That'll sell for quite a lot. I suppose I can carry up to 90 kilograms, because it won't affect me sprinting, because I can't sprint. So there's no real need to be to be worried about going over the weight limit. Jumping is a bit, uh, is a bit much, though, I suppose. But how often do you jump, really? Oh, hello! What gun have you got? Is that a fucking machine gun? Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, shit! Of course I don't have night vision, do I? Bollocks! Never mind, no need. This scope's pretty fantastic. It's a shame I don't have night vision, though. Maybe it's an upgrade. Look at this, baby. Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. An RP-74. With 100 rounds as well. Whoa! And I am just under the max limit. I Any more, and I wouldn't even be able to move. That's quite amazing, actually. 
Right. Let's keep going. So I'm looking for any documentation to do with the Gauss gun. And I hope... <laughs> I hope it doesn't weigh more than uh, 500 grams. Oh, good. Nice to know. Uh, let's go deeper, I suppose. But how much deeper? Oh, even further. Oh. Okay. There's something down here. What? Oh, hell. What is that? Oh, I think... Is that a pseudo-giant? I think it could be, you know. I... Oh, bollocks. Um... It looks like it's resting or it's sleeping or something. Maybe I maybe I can get around it without waking it up. Is that is that possible? I wonder. Is that where I have to go? Looks like it. Yeah, I have to go right ahead of me. Ah! Oh man. Okay, it's up. Oh. Oh, and it's sending shockwaves. That's not good. Oh, shit. Okay. Shit. Okay, let me let me go up the stairs. Up the stairs. Okay, pseudo giants. I haven't actually fought them in this game. Um, they're generally pretty hard to kill. At least they were in Shadow of Chernobyl. Ew. Uh, right. Um, oh, I, I know what to do, actually. Let's just switch this over, shall we? I want to give this a go. Seem to work out for Zulu. Let's give it a go. No iron sights. Not surprised. Too heavy, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, where are you? Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Don't you hide. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. Oh my. Look at that thing in all its glory. I think it's too big to actually get around this door, so... I think I'm pretty safe here. And the door... The, the, uh, the gun is just broken, hasn't it? The accuracy is kind of all over the place. I, I don't know. This might be a waste of bullets, to be honest. Let's just... Let's put this away, I think, actually. Yeah, let's go back to this. Maybe take the shotgun out for a little play. A few grenades, perhaps? Uh. Yeah! I don't know if, if jumping the shockwave actually helps, but, you know, in theory it should. I've got plenty of grenades, I could do this all day. Oh dear, that was a terrible throw. Stop running away, you. It's like you know you can't win. Uh, right. I was expecting you to die by now. Do you die? Can you die? Do you have to get killed by a whole fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Was I just getting irradiated then? Wow. Wow. I think this thing actually just brings radiation with it. If you stand too close to it, you just end up dying by radiation. That'd be amazing. Could you please die already? These are all armor-piercing rounds as well. Oh, that's promising. It's it's limping, kind of. Yeah, one of its feet are dragging. Oh, ooh, oh shit. You know, even with an exoskeleton, if I'm right next to that thing, when it when it slams its fist into the ground, I might die. So, yeah, I'm staying here. I'm playing it safe. I'm playing it real fucking safe. 
Uh, yeah, let's bring this out. You want to be over there? No problem. Come on, come on! This is a good gun. Ooh. Please die. Please die already. Ah, if only this worked. And that's the whole point of this. Oh dear. Right. Come on. It's over there. I can just about see it limping. Oh, it, it's dead. It's. De I think it's dead. It bounced up in the air. It's. Uh, it's not moving. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Fly me. Lovely. Now that is a face for radio if I've ever seen one. Where are we going then? Straight into this room. How would I go about doing that? Aha! Uh -huh. I think I need to go into the vents. How would I get into the vents? There's a, there's a ladder there. How do I get onto here? Uh, not that way. Oh, hang on. There's a ladder that goes that way. That Yeah, that'll be great. That'll be fine. Let's go. Up here. Up here and up here. Got ya. Come on. Up we go. Right. Uh, no, no, no. Over here. Yes, there you go. There's the hole. There's the entrance. That's how I get into the room. Um... Can I just sidle around that, maybe? Do I need to? No, probably not. Like, I can just go across here. Here we go. There you go. I've got it all figured out. Bloody pseudo-giant. It's just a waste of ammo, that guy. Right, so fall down here. And then once again, fall down. Yes. And the vent's big enough to run down. Excellent. Nice! This is it, then. Oh, no. This is it. Documents refer to a central laboratory designated X-8, which could contain information about secret experiments conducted in the zone. Our analysts have been interested in this issue for quite some time. So, okay, uh, an X-8 keycard, and I've got to find documents concerning the experiments in X-8. And, I'm not wrong, looking at this, this actually does look like that, doesn't it? Just a, like a very, very big version of it. You see what I mean? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. Lab X8. Right. I've got to tell, tell Kowalski about the weapon. Fine. Uh, documents concerning experiments. Where is X8? Okay, X8 is in Pripyat. And it is the Ubilini service center which is northwest of the laundromat okay cool right first thing is first though I need to get out of this area and that isn't gonna be my escape route is it let's be honest that door no this door yes here we are okay Two people. Maybe some more zombies down here that I don't know about. I'm not sure. Oh no, this is this is where I killed them. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is the way out, isn't it? And this will lead me back out to the top of the iron forest. Right. Well, that was interesting. I I thought the iron forest was. Well, just the anomalies in the helicopter, honestly. I didn't expect to go down downstairs and see a little lab. Right, guys, I think it's just going to be a very sort of slow, non-sprinting journey back to Skadovsk now, so I'll spare you the journey, and we'll continue when I'm back on the boat. See you then.